Welcome to Two Old Guys Reviewing Some Entertainment for You. Uh, today, we have an interesting rom-com uh, set in, of all places, Cyprus with Harry Connick Jr. Just recently released a few weeks ago by Netflix. Uh, John? Yeah, great. I, I kind of enjoyed this film, but let me tell you what it was about. It's a, you know, it's a rom-com, so it's like all romantic comedies, but it's different. And uh, the island of Cyprus plays a big role of it on it. And I think it was a Cyprus co-production. Um, most of the actors are Cypriot. And um, the director, I think, is a Cypriot herself. Um, nicely done film. Here's the storyline. Um, rock star John Allman, that's Harry Connick Jr., of course, middle-aged guy recovering from a failed comeback album, retreats to a picturesque Mediterranean island of Cyprus. His new cliffside home, however, is notorious for attracting unwanted visitors because it's a popular spot to commit suicide. A nice plot point that continues throughout the whole show. Befriended by a local constable, among others, he meets a beautiful, young, and talented singer and goes to the taverner to watch her sing, Melina. And uh, he finds that in a small town, everybody is related and everybody knows everybody else's business, which sets up a lot of humor. Melina recognizes him as the international music star and the songwriter of the fabulous love song, Girl on the Beach which he wrote, interestingly enough, 20 years ago when he first visited Cyprus and it was before he became famous. And so the question everybody has about this famous song, particularly the people on Cyprus, was it a true story, a true love song written about a real girl on the beach? Or is it just an imaginary nice tune? We'll find out soon enough. Anyway, Harry, uh, pardon me, John Ullman, finally meets the old girlfriend from uh, 20 years ago. Her name is Sia. And uh, she was the subject of a hit song. Not everybody knows that, but we knew that. And, of course, she was the love of his life, even though when they meet through friends, she pretends not to remember him. And, of course, that sets up a whole bunch of interesting uh, dynamic between the two of them. Uh, he tries to win her love back. Uh, the flame is still alive between the two of them, but after all, it's been 20 years. A lot of water has gone under the bridge. As he navigates his unexpected new reality, John confronts his past and finds hope in unexpected new connections, it says here. And of course, he has to decide between his love of music and his love of the woman he left behind. Perfect setup for a romance and, of course, if you think it has an unhappy ending, you don't know romantic comedy. Sorry, rom-com. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, I totally enjoyed this movie. I, I wasn't expecting to, by the way, because it started out, and for me, although I like Mamma Mia, I saw the stage play, uh, uh, the uh, stage uh, uh, production maybe four times, and I've seen the movie twice, and plus the second movie, which wasn't as good as the first movie. So immediately I'm thinking of, especially with the Greek connection of uh, Mamma Mia. Of course, there's, very, there's only the one song kind of thing out of it. So it wasn't all story contrived around a song. But what I really liked about it was that the characters were actually believable and uh, generated empathy. Uh, uh, and uh, not to ruin it for you, because you'll develop your own relationship with the characters along the way. Uh, but the uh, the interrelationships uh, you can imagine will will reveal themselves um, uh, along the way. Uh, some of them, uh, mo most of them are not surprising. Some of them were, which meant that it was actually a well-designed, well-crafted uh, script. Uh, yeah. So some of them you could imagine, but others you just didn't. And uh, quite frankly, I thought the performances were first rate uh, for virtually everybody. I particularly liked uh, uh, Malene, I think her name is. Uh, let me get the name right. Uh, I think it's, uh, oh, here it is, uh, Ali Fumiko. Uh, but uh, the one who played her mother was, uh, uh, who was that? Uh, 
Don't don't tell. Don't give it away. Don't give no, it no, away. No, 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 no. Well, her mother in, in the in the in the uh, script here. Really? Oh, okay. I thought that were, was a, uh, They were thought, all but... totally believable yes. characters in their role. The the acting I thought was first rate. Now, obviously, other than Harry Connick Jr., uh, none of these people are probably known to virtually anybody who's going to see this film unless you're from Cyprus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was just well done, beginning to end. I highly recommend it. Yeah. The uh, the girl who plays Melina uh, is really cute, re very talented. She's a real singer. Mm -hmm. uh, she's done musical theater. I think this is her first movie, her first feature film sure. as a main character. Um, and she's very talented, very good. Um, she's a real standout, I think. Uh, but you're right, all of the acting is pretty darn good, and all the characters are well-formed, and they all interrelate. And there's just enough twists and turns in the romantic comedy to make it fun. Um, I think this movie got some mixed reviews, and one of the reviews was, it was predictable. Oh, well, gee, it's a romantic comedy. Yeah, rom-com. <laughs> <laughs> You know, does the guy get the girl at the end? Oh, gosh, I wonder, you know. Mm. So I I discounted all of those reviews and just watched the movie for what it was. And I think it's a very nice script. By the way, the director, Stellana Clearis, who's a Cypriot, uh, I think a South African Cypriot. Mm. Uh, that's an interesting combination. She wrote and directed the movie. Very talented. I think she's done a couple of other feature films, but... They didn't get released internationally like this is. And um, very talented director, producer, writer, and all the cast was talented. There's a, an interesting character, the local constable, policeman. He becomes, a, a befriends the, the rock star on the cliff. Mm. So it's a wonderful story, and there's just enough ups and downs, and will she or won't she? You know what I was just a little disappointed at? was the music. Here it is. He's supposed to be a rock star. And I thought the songs that they wrote, that he, quote, wrote, that are in the movie, were real average and not, you know, they're, they're supposed to be love songs, but they just, the melody didn't do anything for me. The music I thought was terrific was the Greek music that Melina sings in the Taverna. Mm -hmm. um, it, so interestingly enough, the, the main song uh, that's supposed to be his famous hit from 20 years ago, Girl on the Beach, was a nothing song to me, but it doesn't matter because it wasn't. This movie is not about the music. Right. This movie is about the relationship. Yeah. And uh, can you can you renew old love? Yeah. And, and by the way, I want to give a shout out to uh, Harry Connick Jr. First of all, probably until about uh, uh, watching this film and seeing his name spelled, I used to re think it was Harry Conniff Jr. Uh, you know, I thought of him as elevator music kind of guy. Never really thought about him much one way or the other. I knew that he was famous. By the way, I knew that a lot of people liked him. I didn't understand why, but I was okay with that. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's like Vic Damone. You, you have a taste for, for the kind of music the guy has and uh, what have you. This is the first time I've ever seen him uh, perform. Maybe maybe it's not. I was, so I was, I didn't have great expectations. He was I thought terrific. terrific. Uh, he was good. Yeah. I didn't think it was great. I thought that he had, he has a beard in this. Yeah, and it, I think they're trying to make him look older or make him look his age. Yeah, um, or, or, or look scraggly. Yeah, me. they wanted to make him look down and out uh, a bit. Yeah, maybe yeah. that was it. But it, the beard threw me a little bit. He's a very good looking guy, mm -hmm. but I knew his music, and that's I think one of the reasons I was disappointed. Ah. Um, you know, th again, this is not a movie about music, although. That's a theme, you know, do you love your music more than you love the woman you left behind, that kind of thing. Um, and, and are you willing to sacrifice your music or willing to sacrifice your, your love? Uh, but uh, he's an excellent musician. He's, if you've ever heard any of his albums, he's pretty much a jazz musician. He sings and he's pretty good, um, but mostly he's a fabulous musician. So I, I was attracted by the name Harry Connick Jr. But I have to tell you, the acting, uh, aside from Melina, the girl who plays Melina, whose name is, get this, Ali Fumiko Whitney. She's yeah. got uh, uh, Japanese Whitney. Story. I forgot the Whitney part. I, I thought she was Ali Fumiko. Anyway. Yeah. And she's got 
uh, Japanese heritage, which you really don't get any. She could be Greek, the way she right. talks and sings. I thought she was terrific. Agni Scott, who kind of looked familiar, played uh, Sia, the old love interest. And, um, and she was pretty good. Uh, but I thought I recognized her and I couldn't place her anywhere. I didn't see her name at, at, that looked... Uh, I look familiar. You know, I, I, by the Thank way, I agree you. with you. I thought she was uh, maybe uh, uh, some kind of uh, like a French actress, uh, somebody who very familiar uh, uh, as a, as an actress from a different genre. But sure, no, they were just all fresh to us yep. faces. They're yeah. all fresh, to, and they, she is an uh, excellent actress. Yeah. They're all Greek. Most of them are Greeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think Agni Scott is, uh, in fact, a Cypriot as is the constable, Tony Dimitriou, and Leah Malini, who plays the storekeeper. Mm -hmm. And uh, she does an excellent job. She's kind of a, a curmudgeonly storekeeper. You know, what are you? You have your stranger here. You're... But she was great. Uh, it's not a big cast. And um, it because it's a small town, it's a small cast. But they, they all did they all did wonderfully, I yeah. thought. Wonder, it, worth seeing... Um, because it's a, first of all, if you like romantic comedies, but worth seeing because it does have just enough twist. There's a great serenade. Uh, Harry Connick Jr. does a great serenade in the streets. Won't tell you more about that. It's, you've got to see it. So um, I hope you go see on Netflix. Uh, find Me Fallen. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.